See, we have lights. So it's day five. I have power now. But I still have the problem of um, getting gas in my car. So it's like almost six in the morning. And hopefully my fucking car starts and I can get to the gas station up the road on Kennedy. So that's, here's hoping. Well, good news, my fucking car started and I'm happy about it. Now I'm just gonna get to the fucking what to call it. Hopefully. Okay, there is a serious fucking line going all the way down like a mile of cars just to get fucking gas. I don't even think I can get gas right now. I don't even think it's possible. It's not. This is fucking crazy. Like, it's totally fucking pitch black and <laughs> it's kind of really creepy. Like, holy fuck. Like, I can't even believe this right now. Like, oh my god, I can't even. This is fucking super fucking creepy. I can't get gas. I have an interview through Sunday! Fuck! We're still on day five. Attempt number two for fucking gas. It's about midnight. Ooh, it's so fucking cold. A random ass cat. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try again. Like, I've been like monitoring, monitoring Twitter like all fucking day about the whole gas station situation. So, here's fucking hoping this time, man. <laughs> So there's like lights on now. Where I was earlier, it was totally pitch black. Um, I took the video um, six this morning. It's so fucking cold, Jesus Christ. My car still didn't warm up yet. I'm kind of afraid to turn anything on in my car, but um, I, yeah, all the lights are on. So that makes me happy in Union City, Union City. So that's awesome. So I'm at the gas station now. Um, it's about like 12.30, my car ran out of gas again, <laughs> trying to find the gas station, but I'm in walking distance of a gas station that will start serving at 6.30, so I think I may be camping out for the next like five fucking hours, but I mean, it's, I mean, I guess it's worth it. Um, and you guys can't probably see me, but um, you can see the cars have already lined up a little bit, which is pretty crazy, like they're already starting to line up. And it's and they're they're gonna be waiting for like for five fucking hours. It's gonna be a pretty crazy long wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said they start pumping at six thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to prop up the camera. <laughs> it's probably gonna fall. But it's about, I don't know, probably like 1.30, 1.40. I don't want to look at the clock. <laughs> because I have to wait here for a while. And I could easily probably just call cab and get a taxi and go home and then come back to my car. Which some of you guys are probably like, why didn't you do that? I guess it's all a matter of what I can stand because well one I don't want to waste the money once you're starting a chap too fuck I have my chapstick at home too well not chapstick I got this better kind it's awesome by the way it's called like Dr. Quartz or something like that it's fucking amazing I use it not as much as chapstick so you know it's working um so yeah I should probably just go home but I don't want to spend the money but I'm fucking poor. <laughs> and, um, thankfully, like, my sister's really awesome because, like, I asked her to apply for that disaster assistance bullshit because I didn't get a schedule last week. And how my work works is, like, everything is all kind of, like, satellite-based. Like, we don't have a central office. We don't go into work. It's, like, every day is a different place. You have your schedule through your email, you know, you send your pay stuff through email, all this stuff. I mean, obviously they verify all the information, but um, I didn't get a schedule, so I don't have work. But tomorrow, and that's probably why I'm waiting here right now, because tomorrow I have an interview at noon. 
And then you start pumping gas at 6.30, so I just gotta walk over there to gas. It's like, it's a couple steps. It's not even that far. Thankfully, thank God. But I gotta go get some gas, put it in my car. Probably, I may, I might even take two trips, because I'm thinking that there's like massive amounts of pumps over there, so the line that is totally backing up on the, the highway right now, <laughs> I can't even believe people are lined up, like, if I had gas to go home, I would fucking go home and come back in the morning, probably, I think. Or, I don't know, I'd probably, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I'd sit there, like I am now. <laughs> I, I really can't make that decision. <laughs> I can't call it. But, um, yeah, I don't have any work. But the, the interview tomorrow, I'm thinking, is going to go really well because the woman that's going to hire me is like you know if you can make it I think she's really eager to meet someone that you know was recommended to her to work on this project and I think that she really needs someone to fill the spot so I'm thinking the effort that I make will show through in this whole situation because she needs someone to work for her I need someone to work for it's a win-win right oh. and I suppose like I should be showing something more interesting besides me eating fucking cereal right now. Because my mom gave me Frankenberry cereal when I was home on the 20th of October. And cereal lasts forever, right? It's Frankenberry. It's fucking my favorite cereal. Um, but it's been in my car. I never took it out of my car. So it's kind of funny the past couple times I've been in my car. Um, the one time I was coming from a job and I had like an hour and a half drive home. I was so hungry. <laughs> I didn't bring much with me because I had ran out of food and I didn't go shopping. So I was like, oh fuck, I'm so fucking hungry. And I had cereal like on my way home. And it was great. Thanks, mom. Even though I'm still kind of mad at her. I'm still mad at you, mom. She wasn't there for me in my time of need. And granted, she was like half asleep when, she, when I called her. So her subconscious took over. I believe this. Her subconscious took over and was like, what? So consciously, she probably would have been like, oh my god, Amber, are you okay? Or what can we do? And maybe you should do this and that. But her subconscious was like, fuck that, I don't care. <laughs> Which makes me think that wondering or worrying is not a subconscious thing. It's not. It's not like a natural thing to do. Because I feel like society and pressures from... You know, the people around you are what make people worry. Because if you don't worry about someone, that makes you an asshole, right? I mean, that's just... I was telling my sister that, and she's like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, dude, man, I'm telling you, it's a theory. <laughs> mm. So I don't have no idea what time it is. I don't even want to look at the clock. I don't. My phone's dying. Fuck, it's tripping out. Like, fucking, it just went from, like, half to fucking red. Fucking tripping out. Probably because I'm fucking on Twitter for so much, like checking out this whole NJ gas hashtag thing. It's kind of funny. Some funny shit, man. So, it's about, um, let's see, daylight savings time sucks. But it's like 2.30 in the morning and my car is like fucking freezing. And, um, I tried to do the taxi thing, but it's like $25 to go fucking miles so fuck that um there's like a hotel right next to where my car is so i went over here and i asked the guy at the front desk if i can just chill here until i can get gas he was like yeah no problem so i'm not freezing thank god but um, yeah that taxi thing but the cheapest i saw was 22 dollars and I'm thinking, okay, I have to come back in the morning, so it's way, way, way too much. Oh, fuck that. Um, so I have, like, like, four more hours to wait. Like, a little less than four hours.